But then the, somehow during the song, I was like, oh shit, this is hitting somewhere. This is hitting me somewhere. And yeah, I started feel like, it got me in my feelings right now. Right now I'm in my fucking feelings. I don't know what to think. <laughs> Can't handle the shit, step out the kitchen. Got Heisenberg cooking up his batch of blue poison. Every rapper wants to try and be a word champion. Try me, I'ma buy you out like it's fractions. Old school to no school, I'm resurrected. All these rappers in the game too close-minded. Lyrics are illogical and too jaded. This is a different game, bruh. Y'all to the loop. Welcome back to another episode of Top Reacts. My name is Kid React. This is <laughs> Stop Laughing, bitch. <laughs> What's your name? Feed React. Well, do React. Hey. React. And today we are the Reactors. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So cool. In today's episode, we're gonna be doing Prubatan Forty Seven by Ichal Mosh. Ico Mosh. It's American, it's I care. It's each Okay, cool. I care more. You gotta send that shit. It's each other. Alright, cool. This shit can go on for days. And you still get it wrong. Alright, sounds better. On to the vid. Alright, cool. One, two, three. I like the vibe though. Yeah, it's like the vibe though. Suatu hari aku tak kau kenali Percayalah yang aku telah berubah Telah berubah Telah berubah Percayalah yang aku telah berubah Masa kecil dulu masih ingat tak lagi Kita bukan orang sana lepas balik dari sekolah pergi kutip din untuk beli buku atau apa saja barang yang dah lama kita mahu oleh sebab tak mampu abah pernah buatkan mainan guna kayu pasar raya gembira pagi kita kedai tu ibarat syurga. Atau watching who we chew? No. Um, Okay, what do you guys think so far? Pasaraya Gembira thing, that's actually I think shock. Yeah. Pasaraya Gembira. I think it's Real about awesome. his whole uh, life yeah. growing up. I think up. this is like a passion project for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's a feel-good song. Uh-huh. Yeah. Right? Like yeah. a feel-good very song. Nostalgic. Very nostalgic. It's very different yeah, very to wide. hear each other without auto-tune. Yes. Um, really? I'm usually, it's usually auto-tune in, heavy auto-tune in his rap. Singing. Yeah. Uh, Surprising. I thought this song is like a parody song, but... Yeah, Apparently I'll be not. honest. I I went into it thinking I might not like it, but it kind of grew on me yeah. because it just really just him being raw about you know him his Feeling. past and Emotion. yeah yeah and yeah. this this like you know like a best day ever Mac Miller kind of vibe. It's like you know like you it's just seeing how song. far yeah. you've come in your own career. Yeah, hopefully there will be a I don't know bit switch or some <clears throat> slap. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. 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 Like. Emma pernah belikan kereta lumba Balik rumahku takut rumah gelap Elektri dipotong susah lelah Susah lelah Pernah satu ketika Tak bayar cukai pintu Orang majlis datang ambil TV Kita masa tu Semua orang keliling kita tak suka katanya kita anak orang jahat takut anak mereka ikut apa kita buat. I like it. I like it's it. Relatable yeah, as fuck. it's getting more. The progression yeah, is better too. Up. Yeah, I think, up. I think it's relatable as fuck. Number one is totally different than any other artist. Yeah. The second yeah. one is the harmony, the it the chorus at the back. Yeah, indulge in the feeling. Um, Very it's, well I like done. the relatability, yeah. the simplicity. Yeah. Even though the openness, I wouldn't say it's simple. 
It's depth. Yeah. yeah. It's, I like the rawness behind it. It's the simplicity of how open he is. About his life. Yeah. It's depth. Yeah. That, that, that's why I say it. I don't think it's simple because for an artist to do something like this, it takes a lot of courage, right? I mean, you can generally speak about your life. It's not an issue, but he's going in depth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I, and one more thing is, uh, the, the people around him going to say like, "Oh, this is not it." But he needs to like stick to the idea, mm-hmm. to his vision. Exactly. To, to, this to is come beautiful. This. Yeah, yeah, this is because he's beautiful. not just being the usual rapper yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. This he's is him progressing him. forward to being an artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, no longer is. a rapper anymore. Now he does everything. Yeah, and I, 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 I again, I mean, it's not simple. It's difficult. It's something that. Uh, I'm talking about the lyrics. It's simple. Like, it's simple. Right? Yeah, the whole no, no, no. behind it is very straightforward. The whole idea is simple. Okay, yeah. the video is simple. The mm-hmm. song is simple. Okay. The, the the language that he's using is simple. Everything is just raw. It's just... Yeah, personally for me, I, I think, okay, maybe it looks simple, but the depth that it brings, <coughs> it packs a fucking punch, man. Mm. It's yeah. relatable as fuck. The hardship, mm. The, mm. The, the fact that, like, um, Majlis siap di TV dia, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? And then people compare him to being budak jahat, right? Mm. Going down that road mm. is is something that not a lot of people talk about. Yeah, right. It's always yeah, yeah. flexing about being budak jahat. Yeah, but in the fact <clears throat> where you're actually not. Yeah, and the downside the, of it, yeah. the psychology of the yeah, budak jahat. The whole, and yeah, and that, that's what I'm saying. The depth is there. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> No, 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 tapi sekarang semua ada keluarga sendiri Sering terlupa hingga ada yang tikam belakang saudara Sedara daging bukan orang asing Tak pernah niatku untuk bersaing Buat untuk keluarga bangga Bukan cemburu merah mata Maafkan aku jika ada salah tinggal lagu. Wow, it reminds me of it's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday. You know that song? No. Song. Craig David? You don't know that song? No, so okay. hard to say goodbye to yesterday. Craig David? No, it's Casey and Jojo or <coughs> or Boys <coughs> to Men. No, it's Boys to Men. Boys to Men. Okay, yeah, it's Boys to Men. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, what do you guys think for the next uh, 30 seconds? I like how real it is. Like yeah. I said, it's just it's, I, I like how raw he kept everything. Yeah. yeah. He didn't need no the fancy beat. transition, yeah. no didn't crazy need all that. Yeah. drone shots or anything. It's just exactly. straightforward. It's like, mm. this is my life. This, uh, I'm doing it for them. Yeah. You know, my family. I mean, he showcases kids mm. and all that. This is as real as you can get. Mm. Yeah. It's real shit, huh? Props up. Crazy. Yeah. Play it. Banyak arah yang berliku yang kau pilih tak mungkin pulih seperti dulu. Kau hianati aku jika suatu hari aku tak kembali percaya layak aku telah. Yeah, 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 yeah. God damn, he's hitting me. (laughs) I'm pretty sure each one of us has uh, one song that when you listen to it, when you're down and you like cry to it. it, But that one passion song, yeah, Yeah. yeah. that sad song, yeah. Uh, So I think it's super. I'm I'm pretty sure, like (laughs) someone me spiral. (laughs) Yeah, I'm pretty sure someone out there can can listen to this song like really cry their heart out and get into the feels about it. Yeah. It's all done, yeah. Okay, not done yet. 
Kita rasa macam lepas dunia kejam ni dah settle lah Dah tak ada lah nak buat lagu macam sedih-sedih orang susah hmm. apa semua Macam orang pun boring kan Orang lagu yang masih sih susah kan Tapi persekitaran macam aku cakap tadi kita nampak macam Macam makcik Dia rasa lemak lah apa benda semua Kena dengan kerja aku dengan majlis apa semua Aku nak masukkan ke dalam muzik aku supaya cerita Walaupun bukan cerita aku Walaupun bukan aku yang sedadah Walaupun bukan aku yang yang niaga yang lemak tapi mungkin aku jadi wakil kepada makcik-makcik ataupun orang yang yang sakit-sakit ni untuk dia orang bersuara. God damn. One for the folks. Alright, one for everyday Joes. Okay, okay. So with you, I fuck with it heavy. Okay. Even though this might not be one of the things I would listen to a lot, but I understand the vision that he's going for, the crowd that he represents. And yeah. I fuck with it heavy. Good job. Zero to ten. <clears throat> Zero to ten, I would give it a seven. Yeah. Okay. Okay, LJ, what do you think? I think this is a relatable song. Like, it puts you in a position where you think about your own hardships and shit. <coughs> right? It takes you back. Relatable. He knows how to hit the note, right? Uh, he didn't need a fancy, uh, hype-up beat or, you know, to, to capture emotions, right? He went... And the thing is, I look at it this way, he went for the right emotions. A couple of things, like the music video-wise, what, you know, the, the, the video transitions where some of the videos were took uh, in a portrait position. Mm -hmm. What would have been nice if he had like a projector projecting on the wall, these yeah, videos. It sounds like Joe's video. I don't know, I have not seen that video, but, but apparently it's like yeah, something so that... Yeah, so it's something, uh, maybe, maybe not, maybe he didn't go that way, but, mm -hmm. but I think that would have like, you know, highlighted like he's looking back in life and shit. Mm -hmm. But... Again, like I said earlier, it's the depth. It's the depth that you bring. You you know an artist when they can emotionally connect with you for a song. Yeah. I'm not talking as a rapper, but as an artist, artist. Yeah. Like you can <clears throat> sit down with them and what they push out to the market, you as a fan or you as a listener feels it. Mm -hmm. right? And he did it just fucking right. Mm -hmm. Right? Cheap. Malaysia Standard Rating, I will give it a 9 out of fucking 10. Oh, wow. Right? International, because of language barrier and stuff, uh, I would probably give it like a six, five, six. Right? But that's just language barrier and, and positioning to it. But again, I wouldn't put this on an international level. Why? Because this is him and himself portraying what he's gone through. Mm. Right? And it's just for him to put it on the track. That's all. That's about it. Okay, boy. I give it a 10. Mm. I give it a 10 for internet. International and local, because this, for me, is the relatability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my mood was different when we started shooting this, because I was hyped now, we're ready to react, right? But then somehow during the song, I was like, oh shit, this is hitting somewhere. This is hitting me somewhere. And I started, feels, like, yeah. it got me in my feelings right now. Right now I'm in my fucking feelings. I don't know what to think. <laughs> oh, man. So like, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's giving yeah, me, yeah, yeah. it's like, I can give it a 10 because it's, it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Okay. Which is like okay. his form of art reached you. Yeah. Fucking relatable shit. It's, I'm almost seven. Crazy. Oh. it's a 10. ten it's a 10. Oh, both, wow. both end. Because like okay. if you're to present something outside and go like, what's a song that can evoke emotion? This is mm, it. This, yeah. this is it. Yeah. Never mind the language barrier because you can read the subtitles. Yeah. Because okay. he kept it simple. Yeah. There's nothing complex about it. Okay, but it also, brought, it also brought it also brought that depth. Yeah, without it being complex. <clears throat> I would give six point five, because um, you know when we watch movie, we fell in love with the movie because of the character art of the maybe the story character line or whatever the, the all that art stuff. of their character, right? Yeah, it started as a normal person and then become villain and then become good guy and then the climax and, kena, then, and then jadi orang lain jadi orang lain. Yeah. I think in terms of music, I think the, the song is great, right? If the, the storyline is, it sounds very sad and then suddenly it goes towards Happy. happiness. Mm -hmm. Because not that not people gonna influence by this song, you know? Because people yeah, listen yeah. to this song because maybe they're sad. Mm -hmm. So how do you 
switch their mood, right? Yeah. So it's towards the end of the song, lah. I think, but everything is just great. I would do it differently, but there's nothing wrong with this song at all. Um, yeah, six point five. Yeah, you got pretty yeah. high from all of us this time, right? Yeah, I think this is the first person actually to got this. This is my high. first ten. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm all in my feelings right now. Okay, so oh, we should have done this the last song to react to me. So because it's him and his kid just now, and I was like, ah, shit, that's gonna hit home. Ah, <laughs> you know okay. what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, ah, damn. Yeah. Okay, so thanks, uh, Ichal. <laughs> no, like, like legit on an artist standpoint, like, like kid said, this is no more rapper perspective, no more underground perspective. It is. Art is He is creating art and letting his emotion through his form of art reach you. Yeah. That's the purest form of art. Mm-hmm. For and me, he is a rapper, rapper. Yeah, he's right? a rapper, rapper. Hard hit as gang rapper. Yeah, rapper. yeah man. <laughs> so exactly. uh, to do this is a big thing. And love it. Love the rawness behind it. Yeah. And he's the, he does that. At the end, he says he wants to be a voice for those people who can't speak. He's yeah. doing exactly mm. that. Yeah. He's doing mm. that for me. Mm. So, like, yeah. how can I not give it a 10? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So, if you want to watch more reaction videos, you can share in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe, and catch us in the next Top React. Hell yeah. Peace and love. Top React. Ah! Brought to you by your daddy. <laughs>